need to hold fast to your confession with a great recompense of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hold fast. Amen. Because we have need of patience that after we have done the will of God, we shall receive the promise. My God. Hallelujah. Somebody get God to it. Somebody can go please. Hallelujah. Come on, give me praise and glory. I can dream, God. You see, the, the more knowledge of God that you have, the more confidence in God you have. The more knowledge of God, the more confidence you have. Amen. We can have confidence in God and don't know nothing about God. Hallelujah. So when we pray, we gotta pray with confidence. That means we have to pray with knowledge because how can I have confidence in someone or something if I don't, if I don't know about it? It's when you, the Bible says, they that know their God shall be strong and they shall do great. Okay. Not they who hear about their God, but they who came in a personal relationship with him. They shall be great. Yes, go to Colossians one ten. We just can go to a few more scriptures. We can call it it. Colossians chapter one verse ten. Having this confidence in God, Amen. And and just remember that after you get you pray, the first thing the devil attack is your confidence. Hallelujah, Amen. Our God really hear you. Do you really show that you really, really have the faith? Uh, look at this. And then your eyes start seeing those natural things that that, that seems like <laughs> there's no change. Amen. There's no change. But since of God, amen, we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. And so we walk by faith and not by sight. That means we walk by the word of God and not by what we can see. Let's go Colossians 1 10 and it read and it read. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, uh -huh. being faithful in every good work. You hear that? So after I'm praying and and and, and, and offer sacri sacrifice and thanksgiving, I gotta walk walk worthy. worthy. My life must be in order. Your life must be in order. We can't be out of order and then expect the order of God to come manifest in our life. No, we got to be in order. We got to walk worthy. Read. And increasing in the knowledge of God. And we must be able to increase in the knowledge of God. The increase in the knowledge of God. Sins of God. Anytime we come to prayer meeting, Bible study, church service, we are come for one reason. is to increase in the knowledge of God. Amen. And if you're not increasing in the knowledge of God, then there's something wrong with you. You are under attack. The devil is, yes sir, he's dealing with you because he doesn't want you to get no word. He knows that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mother of God. Hallelujah. So we must, we must increase in knowledge. Knowledge is information. Information that reveals the Christ Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Go ahead. When you are increased in knowledge, you begin to be strengthened with all might. So you can go to the test and, and still have confidence in God. You can go to stone and still believe what God said. That's why you are strengthened with what? Not some might. All might. And this is the might of God that God that God has strengthened us with. The might, his might. Hallelujah. But it has to do with knowledge. Hallelujah. Hosea 4 and verse 6. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Hosea 4 and verse 6. Tell the devil he's a liar. Amen. 
Say, 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 he's a liar. He's a liar. So the word of God is finished. The word of God is finished. Amen. It is settled in heaven for how long? Forever. Hallelujah. That whatever God has promised you is, is destined to come to pass. Go ahead, my sister. My people are destroyed for the lack of opportunity. Knowledge. Knowledge. We're destroying God's people. And the knowledge. Lack of knowledge. knowledge. Knowledge of God. Knowledge of the word of God is destroying many of God's people. He said his people, not the world. He's talking to Christians. Christian lacking knowledge. Knowledge is information. Information about Christ Jesus the Lord. So when they pray, they have no confidence because they don't know nothing about the promises of God that God has promised them. So they pray and open that thank God, thank be to God that God can just have grace and mercy and answer one prayer. They pray bunch of words and hope that one word will hit the target. Huh? Because they're not even sure what is God's will concerning the church. What is God's will concerning a generation? What is God's will concerning you? My people have been destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because of thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, uh -huh. I will also forget thy children. My God, you see that? It's a serious thing in life. Hallelujah. So now the children is going to deal with it because if you rejecting your God, then uh, he's going to reject the, your children. Hallelujah. Knowledge is very powerful, saints of God. Knowledge is very powerful. Knowledge is needed. In the body of Christ, knowledge is needed. Hallelujah. Second, Second Peter chapter, chapter 3, verse 18. Second Peter chapter 3. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 18. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 18. If you, if you want to say that. Second Peter chapter 3 18. But grow in grace. You hear that? But grow. Grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord. Okay. So when you grow in grace, means that uh, once that there's a grace that God has put, give to every man according to the gift of God, amen, the gift of Christ that is in him, right? So with that grace, I can grow in grace and also what? In the, in Lord and the grace and what? Knowledge. Of so and you have it? So my growth Amen. And my knowledge must be based on who? Christ Jesus, who is my Lord and Savior. 